Delta Scientific Corporation, safety and security through proven technology. Delta Scientific's IP500 beam barrier system, security made portable. Delta Scientific now has in production a crash rated barrier, model IP500, that allows for rapid deployment without extensive site preparation or architectural modifications or time-consuming excavations. Delta's IP500 offers the flexibility of rapid installation in areas for either short-term or permanent installation providing immediate positive control of authorized traffic and tested protection against high-speed vehicle attack. As the need and the location requiring protection changes, the IP500 can be moved to standby status or it can be redeployed to a new site, again with no special site preparations, excavations, or special foundations. We will observe the ease with which the IP500 barrier is assembled by a small team as we discuss how the IP500 is to function as part of the overall security of the site. At the conclusion of the barrier's assembly, we will see the IP500 in action, stopping a 15,000 pound gross vehicle weight truck traveling at 30 miles per hour. The IP500 employs a new design concept that consumes the energy of an attacking high-speed vehicle by first absorbing energy with the protective beam and then by distributing the momentum of the vehicle to inertial pods, all without foundations or embedded posts or columns. Extensively tested in full-scale configurations, the IP500 has successfully stopped a 15,000-pound gross vehicle weight truck traveling at 30 miles per hour within less than one truck length 18 feet. Delta's model IP500 has been certified to meet the U.S. Department of State specifications with the rating of K4L3. A remote yet strategically crucial position can be quickly protected by the IP500 due to the ease of delivery of the barricade system. Inertial pods are placed on either side of the roadway, existing concrete drive, undisturbed packed soil, or at a facility entrance. Once these inertial pods are placed where needed, the inertial pods can be filled with concrete, sand, gravel, or available media. It can also be brought to the site pre-filled. Empty, the inertial pods average about 800 pounds each. For our assembly demonstration, the pods have been filled at a remote location with concrete, and they weigh slightly over 6,000 pounds each. Additionally, the inertial pods can be ordered from Delta Scientific Corporation filled to specific weights to meet special vehicle threats. Each element in the IP500 barrier system is configured for ease of handling. Inertial pods have standard forklift sockets as well as lifting eyes. All other major components are sized for handling by two workers. Run-out areas on the protected side of the barrier should be relatively flat. In the event of an attack, the inertial pods can move up to 20 feet parallel to the direction of travel of the attacking vehicle. The area should be free of raised curbs, posts, or trees. However, small drainage channels and depressions or dips are not a problem when installing this barrier if both sides of the dip are less than 18 inches wide and relatively level. First, the modular elements of the barrier are brought to the selected location. Seen here are the pods, the mechanism for raising the arm, and the barrier arm. The site should be clearly marked where the pods are to be placed. The weight of the system when fully assembled is important in its successful operation. Too little weight could cause the system to not meet its mission of stopping a heavily loaded high-speed vehicle. Detailed filling instructions for a variety of materials are included with each barrier system. Next, the inertial pods, shown here, are moved into position and pushed together. With the cover off of the pod, the locking pins are dropped into position. Once aligned and parallel, the locking pins will drop in freely. Replace the top covers and assemble the chain and barrier arm. The hydraulic power unit and electric controls are then connected to a local temporary or permanent power source 
field generator, or emergency power system. Also, the unit can be operated manually. The IP500 system incorporates either a hydraulic, pneumatic, or manual system for raising and lowering the beam arm. The operating time for a typical barrier with a 12-foot opening is 8 seconds. The opening can vary from 8 to 15 feet. Finally, signs are put up and the area is cleaned. Now safe and secure, the IP500 is in operation and providing vehicle access control. It can regulate authorized vehicles or protect against attack by high-speed, heavily loaded trucks. This vehicle barricade gives the security officer authority over entrance to and exit from a facility. The IP500 can be operated at the barricade or remotely by either a central control panel or radio control. It can be fully automated to operate with a card reader, vehicle identification system, radio link, keypad, key switch, or used in manual configuration as desired. The portable IP500 has a wide range of temporary applications including response to heightened threat level, secure temporary military encampment and force protection, establish security perimeter for off-site events, maintain security access control during construction reconfiguration, traffic control for special events, establish special inspection ports, protect storage sites containing sensitive materials, enhance protection of high visibility targets, protect entrances to buildings during periods of heightened alerts, and permanent applications such as enhance protection of high visibility targets, protect entrances where deep foundations are prohibited,